Hello everybody, this is Bhajeev from JK. Welcome on my channel and this video we are going to learn how to test any capacitor, any AC capacitor as you can see I have one in my hand. We will uh, demo to test this one step by step and these kind of capacitors you can find in many many places. You can find in single phase motors, you can find in uh, AC unit, air conditioners. Capacitor can be different shape, size, as you can see I have a picture and this picture we have a three different kind of capacitors. The first one you can find in ceiling fans, exhaust fans, blower motors, small motors and the, the second one, the round one, you can find in an AC unit, the one we have an air conditioner at home and a single phase motors. The last one capacitor you can find in a, some kind of circuit boards. Work are same but different is like the way they made and the size. We also need to make sure if you have a take this capacitor from live line like from AC unit from fan or anywhere to have a power then you need to make sure you touch those prongs together with the any kind of a metal screwdriver or anything you have a plastic handle. You don't want to touch straight those pins because this capacitor can charge and have a high voltage inside it can shock you really bad. So once you shorted our two pins you are safe to touch but before you touch that one just make sure you touch two prongs with the metal screwdriver or anything have a plastic insulation handle then you can do it. Now let's move to test. To test you need uh, this kind of uh, meter. I'm going to use Fluke 87 true RMS meter. You can use any kind of a multimeter but multimeter have to have a capability to test a capacitor. I'm going to bring my camera a little bit closer as you can see I have a, on my mirror where the dial knob is like a capacitor symbol. That's a schematic symbol of capacitor. You have to have it, this one on your mirror to test. I have a, this one so my mirror can test capacitor. As you can see there is some color heavy like a white symbols, one yellow. I will show you in a minute what are those for. So first we're going to set up a mirror. To set up a mirror first we are going to put those probes on mirror. And black always goes to the comms. As you can see, there is only one black spot. If you notice, there's a couple red spots. You can put red probe in three places. Depend on what kind of test we are going to make. As you can see, first one we can do for uh, temperature, voltage, ohm, and diode. And uh, second one will be the milio milliamp, microamp. If you're testing like more than milliamp, then you're gonna put on this part, it's called amp only. But in this case, we are going to test capacitor and capacitor is related to ohm and uh, you can see resistance over here. So I put an uh, ohm spot. Now we are going to dial our meter now set to test capacitor. Okay, here if you are using just ohm or anything like a white color, you don't need to do anything. You just uh, you start using your probes, but in my case, I'm going to use capacitor and capacitor have a yellow. And if you see, I'm testing for ohm right now. My knob, mirror knob is on, dial knob is on ohm position. But uh, all white one, if we are testing like white color sign, we don't need to do anything, just start using our probes. But now we are going to use yellow, it's capacitor, so we have to press this yellow button. Then uh, our dial now have a yellow uh, schematic symbols or anything that will move to yellow color. So in my case, we are going to test capacitor. So as you can see, I have a meg ohm right now, and it says open link. If I press, it will go micro fair. So we are going to test capacitor, that's why we have to press yellow buttons because we are having now on the yellow capacitor sign and now our meter is ready to test capacitor. So simply we are going to place that probe on top of the capacitor two prongs, doesn't matter which way it goes. First we are going to find it, I have a capacitor is 10 microfarad and it's 5% up and down, like it can be 10 point some microfarad or 
eight something. So I have a my meter set to capacitor setup. I press the yellow button and it's reference to yellow symbol and I'm gonna put my meter probes on top of capacitor. I have a two probes I put on two uh, tabs that have a top of the capacitor is reading 9.85 UF 9.85 microfarad as it says 5% plus and minus so far my capacitor is good that's pretty easy if you have a only two tabs top of the capacitor you don't need to worry about uh, black and red probes which way is go but if you have a more than a one output on your capacitor then you need to make sure black probe goes on top of the common where it says C and the other red probe goes on top of the one like says output like if you have a two outputs one of each and uh, like if you have a two outputs that's mean the capacitor is multi power like it can be 10 microfarad plus 75 microfarad so in this case we test our capacitor is working good that's all for today thank you for watching if you like my video please like share comment and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching